We got a lot of requests uh, on this question. Is cotton seed good for feeding deer? Uh, to answer that, let me back up a little ways. I'm out here at our research facility. This is where uh, we developed the first deer feed ever, ever made. And uh, we started out using uh, components that uh, dairymen used a lot and, and uh, perfected them over the years. Uh, and that, that feed worked out well for us. We, we've grown 300, 400 inch deer here for, for years and allowed deer to reach their full genetic potential. But uh, it's a competitive world and people are always looking for an edge. They're also looking for an easy way out on things to make it looking for magic beans, we call it. Uh, so one of, the, one of the things that happens is about every four or five years, uh, there's a new fad and everybody's feeding that or everybody's planning that. And in the long haul, it really doesn't work out. We're still, uh, after almost 50 years of doing this, we're still back to the basics that we had when we began. Now, what about cottonseed? We do not recommend you feed cottonseed. Uh, there is some controversy over it. I'd be happy to, to acknowledge that, that there are some research uh, scientists out there that think that, uh, that cottonseed is a good supplemental feed. There's, equal number, maybe more, that think it's not, including me. Uh, but cottonseed, the, my two basic reasons why I think feeding cottonseed is not a good idea is first of all, is its fat content. It's running probably 20, 23% fat. White-tailed deer do not have a, a gallbladder and they can't digest fat. They make their own fat from carbohydrates. And if you give them a heavy fat diet, uh, you can do some serious damage to them. You can damage their kidneys and their liver. Uh, so there's one. The other one is that cottonseed uh, has a contaminant in it. It's, it's a contaminant for a feed. It's called gossipol. Uh, it, was, it was developed by cotton over the years as an insecticide to, uh, to thwart insect pests. Gossipol has been shown, and there's some good science behind it, to reduce sperm production and reduce antler growth in, in cervids, deer, the deer species. So given that, and given the fact that whether you feed cottonseed or you feed straight corn or, or anything like that, soybeans or whatever, those are called incomplete feeds. They do not have all the mineral components, no matter what you may think. So we stick with, if we're feeding and it's legal, we go with a good 16 to 17% protein pellet. That's, that's what you need to have. And it needs to have a calcium phosphorus ratio of one to two to one to one and less than 3% fat. So that's a long answer to a short question, but I hope that clears it up for you.